Okay. 1,000. It out? Okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> so, in case of emergency, um, on the brown wave, we have engine failure on takeoff roll. Throttle idle, mixture cut off, brakes. Uh, I'm going to try to exit at the nearest safe um, taxiway. We have uh, engine failure right after takeoff. We're going to uh, um, try to land straight ahead on the remaining runway. Um, higher than that, uh, no more than 30 degrees left or right. We have 684 straight ahead yeah, we with we could slight, a slight uh, right turn. Yeah, pretty much. Um, also a golf course to our right to us too if we have enough room, but yep. after that, come back here if we could. Yep, uh, anything, uh, if we have engine failure at least a thousand feet above ground level, we'll uh, we'll turn back. Obviously, you'll you'll take control. So I'll assist you with a checklist, and uh, we'll try, uh, yeah. we'll try to do our best for a safe outcome. Uh, that's it. What is it? Yeah. Anything else at the? That the may take glide speed of 68 knots. 68, ABC, yep. Yeah, your ABC, so airspeed, best field, you know, speed check checklist. Yep. Backwards seven, try to restart. Obviously, I'll have you. depending yeah. how high we are to at that point, and then if we're not, if we're too low, and it fails right after and rotation, the main thing is just uh, the try, try to speed. just ditch right in front of us if we could, and just get it down. Uh, the main thing, just the the the, the glide speed. I don't stall it out. Yep. We're okay. In. Alrighty, let's go. All right, let's go. Power. Okay. We have a left crosswind. Okay, good. Uh, what is that? And from? based on my calculations, we have a five knot crosswind, fourteen knot headwind. What's up, Ben? B six B. Ah. Oh, to say, did you do the trigonometry in your head right now? <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> three one zero one four gusting to two four. So yeah. Oh, so now it's three one zero. Okay, so it was twelve. Well, yeah, that's what the meters. But the way it's about to update soon. So. Okay. All right. Um, to go? I'm good when you are. Alright. Fuel on both, you'll shut off in. Lean down for ground ops. Alrighty. Parking brake. Released. And let's taxi out. Sure. And into the wind. This weather is weird, but I think it's May. It shouldn't be this cold. It's almost standard temperature, though. Alrighty. West Tower, Cessna Skyhawk 90101 Romeo, holding shore at runway 34, ready for takeoff and departure to the northwest. Never mind, 9101 Romeo, Westchester Tower, wind 310 at 1624. On course to the northwest, approved runway 34, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 34, copy the wind, and uh, on course approved to the northwest, 9101 Romeo. Alrighty. Lights, make sure full ridge. And feel shot off in. Bump both. Clear. Well, is it uh, advisable to just let the airspeed build up a little more when it's disgusting on takeoff roll? Like, I, feel, I mean, you're probably, no, 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 probably going to lift off anyway because of wind. Nope. But one thing I do want you to do is I want you to do a short field takeoff out of here. Really? Yeah. On these conditions? Yeah, of course. What happens if it was? You're fine. All righty. So hold the brakes, get in full power. Short field. Yeah, short field, yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's
Let's go. All righty, so. Full power. Everything's in the green. Everything is green. Release. Heels to the floor. Here's right rudder. Good here. Speed's alive. Speed's alive. What speed do you rotate at? 50. Oh. 52. 52. Pitch for 58 to 62. All right. Clear that obstacle. Right rudder. Good. There you go, flap up. I wanted you to see what it's like when you do have to do a short field. But you see, that you already start lifting off way before they even thought, right? You saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Lifting off a lot. Like. Yep. Everything is in the green. A little bit of trim. And this works so much easier. What, the electric trim? Yeah. yeah. For some people it helps. In the beginning I didn't like it, but now that I use it more... It's good to get finesse when it comes to the trim. Yeah, you know? that's the thing, yep. Six eighty four is a good place to land, not gonna lie. Street lights pretty straight away, the only thing you have to worry about is that overpass. Alright, watch this a little bit off. Hello right, Tan, I'm at the five four tab with that bridge with you on the uh, uh turn me to the left three three zero. Yeah, remember, Burning left 330. Yep. We should have reported by an RJ getting lost of 109. A little traffic at like 9 to 10 o'clock. Runway 34, clear to land. Clear to land, 34, thank you very much. Tower, TEPLU 1567, short 34, ready to park. 25. Yep. TEPLU 1567, hold short runway 34. Hold short, TEPLU 25 right in front of you. Um, see that point over there? That's crew. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can proceed direct to that. Yeah. Perfect. Traffic at 12 o'clock? Yeah. I don't think that's any of ours. One point is that little island, right? Yep, Croton's right there to the right. Alrighty. Uh, like doing scenarios in my head right now, what I can do for you. Cool. Or. Bring out the ACS. <laughs> that? Oh, well, first put on your foggles if you want to get your point two. Uh, I got the controls. Your controls? Good morning, Westchester Tower, AC 5275, uh, dog leg to right final, now. 3 4 visual. AC 5275, Westchester Tower, continue in the final traffic wall of the position prior to arrival. Uh, oh, oh, that little down. November 01, Romeo, exiting Class Delta airspace, frequency change approved. Stay on course heading. Roger, we'll keep our heading for 01, Romeo, frequency change approved, thanks. 776 Julius Air, ready at 3.01. 776 Julius Air, we're sitting in power hole, short traffic landing. Oh, short, 6 Julius, yeah. Alrighty. All right. my, my controls? Alright, your controls stay on this orange course heading. Yep. 3, 2, 5. Just need to get 12 minutes of this. <laughs>
And AC 5275 traffic will hold the position prior arrival. You can slow it down just I direct to that point. We'll slow it. All right. I'll follow your CDI to that point. Step to 1567 traffic, four mile final, runway 34, line up and wait. Runway 34, runway 1567. They give you slack on the at least altitude to hold it. If we go a little bit over 100, then conditions. They might tell you, well, it is in special emphasis area, it's positive aircraft control. If you just, as long as you correct for it and you don't let it off okay. too much. Uh, yep. Clearing on that carrier. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, if you lose altitude, just get back to it. So they want you to notice it. Okay. Um, I'm going to take off. contact New York 120.4. 120.4. Then it goes down to like 100, and then like actually, not even light, actually lighter than that. It's probably like 95, actually. I think, it, I think the max is like 10. Right, uh, got to see conditions, right? So, uh, 
Star 21. So now final approach speed, we say, so add half the, the wind gust factor, so that will be 65 plus uh, 10. Uh, well, what's the gust factor? So the gust factor divided by 2. So if winds are sustained at 14, gusting to 24, that's a difference of 10. Divide that by 2, that's how you get your, um, your uh, approach speed. So 65, uh, you're coming in at 70. Okay. So gust factor divided by 2. Okay. Oh, so, yeah, so have the... Have the gust factor, yeah. So if the winds are sustained at 14, gusting to like 20, or gusting to 30, that's and a difference of 15. 16, that's a difference of 16, and divided by 2, so that's 8. So you add 65 plus 8. Okay. New York, good morning, Augusta 978 Victor. We're level 3,300, requesting overhead white planes landing Newark today. 78 Victor, altimeter at White Plains, 2986, cleared overhead to tower cab at White Plains at 2,500. 2986, all altimeter cleared uh, overhead to White Plains at 2,500, 978 Victor. Denver 4173, descend to maintain 4,000. Maintain 4,000, Denver 4173. District 5342, turn left heading 250, contact New York 120.4. Alright, left turn to... It's uh, is an intersection. Yeah. Ah. Approach to play 31 with the 10 4 for 8,000 basically 250 and a speed Zilla. To play 31, out to minute 2,900, descend to maintain 4,000, proceed direct to Harp. Direct harp down to 4,000, 2,989, simply 31. Oh. Marcher Astro 776, Juliet 7. Roll wind shear. Climb at 3,000. Astro 776, Juliet 7, near departure rate of contact. Climb maintain 73 contact final approach 134.9 349 endeavor 4173 Six Juliet here turn left heading 260 contact New York 120.4 20.4 left 260 6 Juliet here so what I want you to do whoops to the left, 290, and climb me up to 3500. All right, turning left. Traffic. Are you looking for traffic? Yes, I am. That's why I said climb. Okay. Full power. So he's no factor. Factor? Oh, yeah. I saw him. He was, cl he was pretty much passing off our right. I wanted to wait until you, uh, he's to your left now. Okay. Nice lift right there. Yeah, we're doing good so far. But you didn't. You didn't put a. Okay. You didn't, you didn't put another intersection in. Nope. Oh. Okay. I just made you try to yeah, track yeah. that one. Pretty much off of that intersection when I'm making a track through. Four or five start Charlie here. And we're about 17 Northwest White Plains. Uh, uh right. 2500 with Charlie. And uh, when are we going to practice ILS 34 full stop at the airport? The 4 Fox track, Charlie, squad 0211. 0211, 4 Fox Charlie. How you doing, Mick? Good, how are you? I'm okay. Your old pal, Mick Gregory. Nice to hear from you. No, glad you're still on the, t on the frequencies here. Four more months. Thank hey. you. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, you can take off your pockets. Okay. I got the controls. Your controls? 4 
Fox Fred Charlie directed at Tampa Zee Bridge, depart the bridge heading of uh, 170 vectors for your practice pilot. Pro All right. Altimeter 2986. Controls. All right, good. You got the controls. All right, good. So, we're over uh, the Stony Point. Yeah. Okay. All right. Give me slow flight dirty at 50 knots. 50? 50. Didn't they, isn't it new now? Like, yeah. no stall? No, no stall horn? They said 5 to 10 knots above stall speed. What's. Oh, yeah, because we have 540. Hey. Full configuration. Okay. Alrighty, so we're below 110. Bottle, just because of the wind. Right. Just say 5 to 10 knots over the 1G stall. Just all the heading. I made you do it clean, I'd make you do 60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, follow your heading and stay in your altitude. All right, pull on. 90. It's a little bit hazy. Or cloudy, rather. That's full. A lot smoother up here. Also, if they make you go over 35, what do you do? Make you go over 3,000, what do you do? Oh, uh, lean it out. Yeah. yeah. You're good right now. I'll just, I'll help you out on this, but yeah, when they, you do, they never really, they make you. Final approach, 1349, good day. 349, just play 31, good day. Maintain 50. Yeah, plus or minus 100 knots on the, or 100 feet, just so you know. That's BTS, or ACS. It's okay to be aggressive with them, relatively. So this will be plus or minus 10 on the speed, right? Yep. Okay. Plus or minus 10 on the speed, plus or minus 10, uh, plus or minus 20 on the bank angle, I'm pretty sure, um, when they make you do a turn. So let's say, all right, I'll uh, turn to your left, heading 210. And coordination is very key for them. Yep. Hey, Victor, are you going to go down the Hudson? Uh, yes, sir. So anytime okay. I do the the heading bug, I'll yeah. All righty. Are good. Speed me up to 65. 4213 here. Departure rate of contact. Climb and maintain 11,000. 11,000. So you see why you drifted off to the left? Reason. Right, Rada. Whenever, whenever I say you know add a different power change, expect that rudder change. So give that right rudder to really prevent you from getting drifted off. It's. Before Fox Charlie, turn left heading 140 to center and maintain 2,000. Zero, maintain 2000. 
Five four, Fox Charlie. Send to 3400, give me a power off stall. Alright. Um, okay. So, the throttle. And then I just pull back continuously, right? Yep. Well, pull back, just hold the 10 to 15 degrees nose up. So start okay. descending, power comes out, maintain that 65 descent, like you're coming into land. Just bring me down to 3400 at 65. 852, 13, turn right heading 320. Right, uh, 320, 4213. Alright. 4400. Good. Keep that just, heading. Okay. Keep the heading that you have right now and stall. It. Pitch back, pitch back, pitch back. Contact departure 124.65, so on. 2465, AC 4230, you have a good day. Roger, how's it going again? Up to 20. Me to the left, while you're climbing, while you're recovered, at 120. Upstand. Uh, actually. Yeah, 120. 120. 120 on the left, maintain 34. Alrighty. Bravo airspace, 1,500 feet down the Hudson. Clear on the Bravo, 1,500 feet down the Hudson, 978 Victor. Is that a good stall? Yeah. That was good. Um, that was good, good control. Uh, all I'd say, good job powering maybe a little less slightly quicker, and just try to keep that climb up immediately, because it's just simulating that you're coming into land. They don't, want, they don't want you to lose too much altitude. Okay. It's like what, like 200? Yeah, yeah no farther than 200, 300. Coming back down to 35, 3400, you're going to give me a power on stall, takeoff configuration. New York, Alrighty. 182 Delta Charlie, 2500. And turn me to the left, heading to eastbound. Charlie, New York, White Plains, out to the eastbound. Direct to the field, midfield, right down to 34. Midfield, right down, wind for 34, direct to the field, Delta Charlie. Alrighty. Foxtrot Charlie, turn left, heading 100. I'm going to give you something that I don't know if you've ever been given before. For this, but they do ask us on the check ride sometimes. Right. Uh, when you do this power on stall, give me a 10 degree bank to the left. But you do it. I've seen that on videos, I've never done it. That's what I want you to do. Like I said, Sergio, I get you guys prepared. <laughs> uh, we're good here with the altitude? Yeah, 3400 is fine. You're not going to spin as long as you stay, keep coordinated. Coordination is key. Remember what the power on stall. Yep. As long as you're coordinated, because all what is a spin? An uncoordinated stall. That's yep. all it is. Yep. And no, I gotta make sure. Also, before you uh, do your check ride, do you want to do a spin flight with me? Want to see what it looks like to be in a spin, and do you learn how to recover from it? Although you're not gonna do it in the Cessna, you do it in the Diamond. Uh, yeah. Um, it's you don't have to do it. But it's good to know, because yeah, if you course. get yourself, it's kind of, I know, it can be kind of nerve-wracking. No, I mean, I, I would We're do, we I never do it below 4,000 feet. I'm, oh, I, get, I get altitude, but you don't, you only... 6,000. If you want 6,000, we can do 6,000. Yeah. yeah, that's, uh, that's what I would feel comfortable. Before Fox Charlie, turn right. heading 070. Oh, slow us down, do rotation speed, and give me a power on stall with a 10 degree bank to the left. 10 degree bank to the left. Yep. Oh, okay. Just maintain your altitude, maintain your heading as best as you can. 78 Victor Cherokee, 11 o'clock in two miles now. Alrighty, no traffic around this right? Nope. Right, you're in our area, what you did. Maintain 2,000, established on the localizer, put Islas runway 34 approach, maintain VFR. Alrighty. Oh. Uh, good. Power. Full power. Keep on breaking out. 20 to 25. Give me that 10 degree nose to the left. Good. 
Give that right rudder in. 7 8 Victor, traffic alert, less than a mile now, 1,500 feet. We're searching for traffic, sir. Common, keep more bank, I mean more, uh, good. Give that bank, keep that pitch up. I need around 20 to 25. It's okay to be aggressive with them. Descending to 1,500, 2 Delta Charlie. Continue your left turn, 320 to join, still two from Theo, 2000 established, quit ILS runway 34. 320 to join, my Fox Charlie. There it is. Good. Well, I just didn't want to, didn't want to stall, but and then just, yeah, whatever you do, just recover. Uh, anytime this happens, just bring it back and then just send me back down to 35. Um, be a little bit more aggressive, uh, not totally aggressive, but bring that pitch up to 25 degrees. Yeah, that's the thing. I just, I know, you know, it's, I know, it's, I, I know, it's a friend. It's, it's, it's nerve-wracking, but they will. And I know that is the, the more dangerous. It is, but as long as you keep coordination. Yeah, that's the thing. That's I, the feel, whole point. I feel more comfortable, you know, like just uh, keeping it coordinated now. Right. Good. In the beginning, I, I just didn't like the spin because obviously. But that's why it's get. hard to spin these planes. It's really hard to spin a Cessna. I know, the indicated was like crazy, right, yeah. like 28. You see, that's what I wanted to, to notice, is that that's uh, what happened. Turn east or? Oh, you're fine here. You're fine here. Take care, Mike. Yep. I want, that's why, because I don't think anybody, you've never been doing, you've never done that turning stall. They will oh, ask you sometimes to do that. I saw it on somebody's uh, video. They will, I like to do turning stalls because no one has ever prepared for them. It's like, then they, they asked them on check right. Oh, give me a power on stall with a... Uh, 15 degree bank to the right, and they look at them like, What? It's like, you gotta do it. Good. Uh, maintain this heading, give me a steep turn, give me a set of steep turns. All right, maintain this heading. ILS 3 4. All righty. Oh, now, we didn't, we didn't do the clearing turns. Better that power on stall clearing turn. Sometimes the DE will make you, but, but for, for me, that was considered a clearing turn. For them, if they don't say anything, automatically do a clearing turn. Got it? Okay. Automatically do a clear and turn. If they don't and, say. And uh, also, uh, you can ask them. All right, I'm gonna do something. What about uh, pre-maneuver check? Um, I was reading in the uh, uh, curriculum from you guys the, uh, before every maneuver to do the 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 check with uh, fuel on both, make sure full ridge, uh, master on, car heat on if, if equipped. You could, but if you want, I mean, I usually keep it above 3,000, so, okay. All right, all right, so let's do a steep turn. Let's do it. Are your tolerances? Uh, plus uh, or minus 10 on the speed, plus or minus uh, 100 on the altitude. Good. What else? Uh, and plus or minus 5 on the bank, and then plus or minus 10 on the exit rollout. So you have to roll out on your entry heading. Yep. All right. So give me one to the left. Clear and turn to the left. Clear left. All right. 11,000 for zero Juliet here. 11,000, thank you. 11,100. Adding that power now. Anytime you do the steep turn, exit out. Uh, ex start exiting out within 20 to 30 degrees. Okay. Half yeah. your bank angle. So what's your bank angle in this? 45. Uh, 45. So half of that is what? 22. Yeah, 22. So you would exit that at 22. Wow, it is freezing up here. I know. I was gonna say. I just zero saw degrees, snow. So. I just saw snow. Should we get out of it? Yeah. No, 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 no. We're not invisible moisture. No way. Oh, no? 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 wasn't this? Oh yeah, in front of us. A little bit further, but other than that, you're fine. Give me another one to the left. Another one to the left. Yeah. There we go. Oh. I held the altitude. You held the altitude. You just needed a little bit. You just needed to keep on the, on the, the power. You just need to remember, it's just 100 RPM. That's about it. So 
Set yourself up. All righty. Air left. I don't see it. All right. All right, let's go. All right, watch your altitude. Start doing it. Ah, keep, uh, keep that banking. Remember, more bank, more back pressure. Follow the horizon halfway through. Job on the rollout. Oh, it's good. I held the altitude. Yeah, 34-ish, which is good. The only thing is your speed was a little bit low. Okay. Oh, yeah, and uh, All right, good. Give me one to the right. All right. So, remember, yeah, it's just a little bit of RPM increase, and just kind of watch your... Now you're just looking for your cowling to be just grazing over just below the horizon. All right, let me go back to... Four. And don't forget, when the, with the right one, you will have that initial tendency to pitch up, so get that right rudder in immediately. Okay. Because that'll prevent yourself from kind of gl gliding up. All right. Clear right. Get All your right. airspeed, though, first to 95. Biggest thing is set up. Um, the more you rush things, the more they're going to start spin out on you. Then you really get stressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time, you have all the time in the world. Feel comfortable if the clouds are bothering you, you can turn me to any heading you want just to set, you set yourself up. All right. All right, let's just go to the right. Rudder. Good. Watch. You're going to pitch up again. Climbing. Over the nose a little bit. Good. That's what you got to watch out for, but sometimes, you know, the wind kind of cuts you. Just forget to yeah. kind of take out the RPM a little bit. All right. Um, Turn left a little bit. Turn one. What are you doing? It's power? Yeah. All right, pitch for 68. Good. All right, best field. Uh, Woods. Woods. Unlost. Um, what do you call it? Um, Softball field, which is very good. At highway straight ahead. Where? Think you can make it? It's a very. We do. Number one, Victor Julia, turn right, heading is zero seven zero. Vectors to the final. Zero seven zero vectors final three five one. Let's do it. Uh, much over here. I got, I got my field. It's not really a field, but. Right there? Yeah. Is that low cut? To your right. It's concrete. Or it's like gravel. I'd put it down there and I'd come in at an angle. See it? See right down there? Yeah. Right below there. Yep. Right circle around it. And just okay. do it. So what's, what do you do? So airspeed, B best field, what about C? And then checks. Good, so what do you do? Want to make sure that everything's in? Uh, make sure it's full rich, yeah. fuel on both, fuel shut off in, uh, mags are on. Yeah, it's on both. Start, master, switch on. And you can on. put on the mixture as well. So actually put in the mixture. Mixture. Okay, good, you have your engine back. All right. That's what I just wanted you to say. So, give me a right turn to the right. So just know that maybe sometimes I just lean the mixture a little bit too much. Okay. Um, just wanted you to actually put it in. And maintain 25. Maintain 25. Okay. And turn to the right. 
So you see, sometimes you gotta really think for when you're out in the middle of the woods. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, we got rain. Yeah, I'd probably pick that, because that's all I got. Um, you better believe I'm coming in and I'm coming in at an angle. I try to get the long ways, try to land on that. And this box, we have the highway here also. So we just three, so. And we have, look at that, that looks pretty good right down there. Oh, yeah. That looks like a perfect landing strip, right? Very short field landing. Very short, but remember, when it comes to the short field landings, and if you start overrunning, aim between two trees. What's yeah. going to happen? The wings are going to blow off, yeah. but it's going to still, you brace yourself, really kind of hold up, You when it comes to bracing. Oh, well, you brace yourself, well, if we both if do. Really? Pretty much you fly it in, fly it in, fly it in, fly it in, and then right at that last second, right when you're about to let go, brace, let the plane kind of slow down, and really, because that'll prevent yourself from injury. Okay. Um, so you're literally flying it in, like you're holding down, you're flexing all your muscles, bringing it in, bringing it in, waiting, 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 cover your head, brace it like that, and just let it do its thing. Okay. And slow it down. I saw there's a video on YouTube of uh, these two guys in a uh, Jabiru, you know, the Australian plane. Uh-huh. Uh, they have an engine failure, and then that's what they do. Fly to the crash and the, then brace the, at the last second. Only the guy who wasn't flying, the guy in the right seat was flying it, and the, in the left seat, he just took a coat and put it in front of him. Really? The guy flew it right to the last second, right between the trees. And it blows off. That's what you do. You gotta fly it to the crash. Right. Everything's cut off, right? At that point, fuel selective valve, I mean, Leave it on one, the more than other. I mean, at that point, just think about what would probably happen. Fuel shut off is in, mixture's all the way out. Your battery, everything is off because you're just flying by pulleys and knots now at this point. Fly it all the way down and boom. Bags off, especially. All righty. All right. Um, I want to ground. I want you to track around that water tower right over there to your left. Or to your right. All righty. Traffic. Where? That's over us. It's a, uh, it's us shadow. Is it? Yeah, it is. It is. It's a shadow. Shadow? Yeah, it's a shadow. Was it a shadow? Yeah. Um, just behind us. I don't see. It. Turn to the right. Three five one Victor Juliet wishes to Sarah one one eight five seven good night. Order Tower 1857, get a water Juliet. See him? I don't see anything. It's been doing that all day today. It's been something that's been pinging over there. You can just send me down to 20, uh, to 1,000. 1,000? Yeah. 1,500. Well, let's see. Well, what is it? AGL around over here. That's that thing that's been doing that all day. there that's just been pinging. Uh, Maybe a drone. Oh, there it is. There's the water tower. Yeah, so I want you to track around that. Just turn around a point. Um, oh, the wind is from the right. Yeah, it was nothing. I had a was on anything. Post. That's what I mean, a shadow. Traffic. It's just moving around a lot. It's nothing. It's just uh, the would have been right in front of us. Two nine or eight six. Yeah. to be around 600 to 1,000 feet AGL, but the ground up here is, I don't really know. Yeah, let's keep it at 17. Oh, you want to go all the way to 14? Yeah, we can go to 14. As long as we have a suitable place to landing, that's what the regulation yeah, says. There's a field right below us. There's a golf course right over there. 
So you could easily find it. That's what they want to look for. If it's easier, remember, enter the point on your left side more than anything. You can do it on your right side. It's your choice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make you to set yourself up. You maintain 90 knots. It's for your ground reference. No how wind. I like to enter on the down one, and I like to keep it on my left side. That's that's my that's my thing. Oh, uh, it makes sense because I'm on the left side, so if you're the right. pilot on the left. Yeah, why don't you make it easier? In the bank angle, got the tailwind. Point goes in front of you. It's you gotta you less bank. If the point goes behind you, more bank. Uh, we're looking IMC American twenty one thirty six. I still see uniform Bravo here. I'm gonna maintain three thousand the park car heading one eight zero. Maintain three thousand leave hard heading south. My Bravo here. Traffic anywhere? Okay. American 2136, they have no factor. Descent and maintain 4,000. Present heading, join the localizer. Present heading, down to 4,000. Join the localizer. American 2136. Where goes behind you? More back. 839, Julius here. Descent and maintain 5,000. 5,000, Julius here. Stupid shadows, really annoying. Yeah, that's what it's going to be, unless it's a drone. We'll go back in. Yeah, so. Any I'm up a little bit? Yeah, you can go up yeah. to two. Good. Yeah, for 2,000. Alright, full power. The rider. Approach number 4084, uh, leveling 9,000. Number 4084, altimeter 2988, traffic 12 o'clock, 6 miles off eastbound, 7,600 indicated, site for no. We're looking 4084. Show me how you get into Westchester. Alrighty. Mike Delta, uniform Bravo Sierra, Center maintain 2,000. Center maintain 2,000, my Bravo Sierra. This is 2,500 above. Uh, 2,000 is fine. On the target. Oh, yeah. So you see a 2,500. We'll just say it's him. Alright. Alrighty. Endeavor 4084, traffic no factors. It's going to maintain 6,000. Down to 6,000, 4084. He's fine. American 2136, contact first, 1349 are Just looking. 349, American 2136, good day. 1 3 0 0 at 16, gust 2 4. Visibility 1 0. Two clouds at 4,600, 8,500 temperature 1 1, 2.1, altimeter 2, 9 Sound visual approach, runway 34 in use. Landing and departing 34, 2 Niner. Taxi at Charlie Run of Pat Cloud. Departure clearance available via CPDLC. Lock on KHPN for participating aircraft. Windshield advisory in effect. Caution, 
Bird in the vicinity of airport. Brief make a runway hold short instruction. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Charlie. West Chipper County. They know how you get in? Okay. Uh, yeah, it will be a right downwind for 3 4. Or right downwind? Well, what do we usually do when we get to Westchester? How do we get in? Oh, I contact the tower. Right, but don't we go into the Tap and Z first? Oh. <laughs> okay. I. Okay. But I meant just like Westchester, get me into Westchester, because that's what the DE, that's what they'll ask you. The knock doesn't mean that, you know, you know what... So, you when if you're northwest or north, you fly to the... Pretty much just fly the Tappan Z. And they, okay. they ask you, what are you doing? You say, what do you say with confidence? If you get into this airport, you okay. go to the Tappan Z and you go directly to it. Just contact the tower. Just tell okay. them what we're doing. Okay. Remember, right. explaining yourself, they ever ask you, what are you doing? Doesn't mean it's wrong. But that to make you think for yourself. Okay. All right. Should we be on the right bank? Or it's fine? Eh, hey, it doesn't matter. Okay. Just because thinking of... Try. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just look after traffic. Visual separation. All right. So Westchester Tower, Cessna Skyhawk 9010 on Romeo, nine miles northwest of the field at the Tappan Z inbound full stop. Tower, Mike Delta Uniform, yeah. Bravo Sierra. Yep. Grab the South Visual okay. Three for field inside. Talking Mike Delta Uniform, Bravo Sierra, Westchester Tower. Winds three one zero one seven gusts into two four. Previously arrived aircraft reported light turbulence on final, and again so also five knots. Runway 34, you are clear to land. Thanks a lot. So, uh, copy, clear to land 34, Mike. Bravo, sir. West of Cessna Skyhawk 9101 Romeo, 8.8 .8 miles to the northwest. With information, Charlie, right at the Tappan Z, inbound, full stop. Sky 9101 Romeo, which is the tower, which is ultimate 29 or 86, squawk 0204. 0204 for the squawk and 29 or 86, 0 on Romeo. Skyline 101, Romeo radar contact, two miles north of the Tappan Sea Bridge. Up to the case, 2,000 feet. Fly direct to the Tappan Sea Bridge, then enter the midfield. Left on wind, runway 3 4, Pierce Lee arrived there for reported light turbulence on final and again, so loss of 5 knots. Fly straight to Tappan Sea, then uh, enter left downwind for 3 4, uh, and copy on the, on the wind. 0 on Romeo. Good. Clear to land. Fuzzy, were you clear to land? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get. All they said is just where you're going. Uh, yep. Get controls for a second. All right, I got Your it. controls? My controls. I take a picture of the tap and see. My controls. Air control. My controls. Alrighty, I got the airfield in sight. Oh, so we'll do a flap twenty landing. Full. Always do full. Always do full, even in really gusty conditions. Well, what did I say? What happens to stall speed as you put in more flaps? Stall speed goes down. Increase. It goes down. If we put five to twenty, therefore, your flood stall speed, your VREF is not VREF. So, instead of coming in at sixty-five and your gust factor, how do you know what your gust factor is going to be at five to twenty? You don't really know what your stall speed is. That's uh, that yeah, configuration. Okay. Perfectly. So, I'll be. Uh, it's okay to go full flaps. You're not going to get a gust of wind. Just know about your gust factor. That's all I have to say. And just get the same. Power idle at threshold, and you'll still land. It's fine. It's just keep your aileron correction in. 
All right, so it'll be a left crosswind. So high rider, left aileron. Mike, Delta, uniform, Bravo, Sierra, left turn on taxiway, Charlie, contact ground 121.8. That's a Charlie, ground 121.8, my friend. Much smoother, like 100 feet behind. Yeah. AC 52.75, Worcester Tower, good afternoon. Winds are 3, 3, 0, 1, 3, gusting at 2, 5, runway 3, 4, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 3, 4, AC 52.75. Like sensors that they they read the wind all the time, right? In the down. Yep. Oh, sure, runway three and four. Oh, sure, three four, cross fifteen five six. All right. Pattern altitude. All right, let's make it a good one. That's it. Been flying in the in the sim. I have a weather engine. Oh, that's cool. We're on a 15. It's very realistic, but. Three, four, line up in the way. Traffic, Skyhawk, join say left on wing. Left wing, runway 34, kind of 15, 26. It's coming on 101, Romeo. Once you join the downwind, extend downwind, I'll call you base. Once we join the downwind, uh, we'll extend it and you call the base. You're on, Romeo. Turn it now. So when is Clear right. AC 5275 on your left turn contact, watch 120.8. Have a good one, 5275. Alrighty, I'll beam the numbers. 9101, Romeo turn base. 9100, Romeo turning base. Front us 1526, winds 32014, gusts into 2.5, runway 34, clear for takeoff. Runway 34, clear for takeoff, cross 1526. Start on 101, Romeo, runway 34, you are clear to land. Clear to rent land, uh, runway 34, zoom on Romeo. I've been to the wind a little bit. A little bit. 85. 20. Final is clear. Pitch. Alrighty. Slowly. What about? What should your speed coming in be? Seventy. Yeah. Seventy. Sixty-nine, seventy. If you can make it seventy, make it. Good. Very nice. Where's your wind coming from? Left. Good. And across from uh, across fifteen twenty-six. Turn uh, on your left turn contact, Parker 12048. Road to Parker 2018, cross 1526. Traffic. Riding. Uh, Westchester Tower, Cirrus 722 Foxtrot Bravo, IFR ready. 
3722 Fox Rob always says Power Roger. Hold short runway 34, you're going to be number two in sequence. Power idle at threshold. Number two, 722 Fox Rob Bravo. Okay. <laughs> That's a 255 rate sequence. Very good. Nice, Sergio. Good, 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 good. Oh, nice landing. You can take hotel. Don't try to make Kilo. Watch your 3, 4, 2, nice. 5. Skyhawk 9101, run your left turn on taxiway hotel. Contact ground 121.82. Left on hotel, ground 121.82. Zero on Romeo. Nice. Nice landing. Contact ground 121. So, I, yeah, it was good. It was smooth. Just as long as you're landing on that windward side wheel, that's all it meant. Hey. I'll watch out for the shimmy and keep that aileron correct. 255 winds at tree, tree zero to one five thousand to two five, runway three four, clear four takeoff. Clear take takeoff uh, three four, it's at jet two fifty five. Alrighty. West to ground, Cessna Skyhawk 910 on Romeo on Hotel of Runway 34 going to Ross West. Skyhawk 910 on Romeo, West to ground, Ross West, taxi via Kilo. Taxi to Ross West via Kilo, see you on Romeo. Transponder. Yep. Yeah. thing though, when you do the after landing, double check with the checklist no matter what. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not yet, but not while you're rolling. Um, so before you taxi off, let's say hey, you're good right now. You and me, it's fine. I know what you're doing. But when the check ride, taxi off, hold short. Don't you don't have to get the ground clearance or anything like that. Do your after landing. Make sure you did everything. And you can contact ground. Remember, it's good your lunch. your check ride. Yours you can go as more comfortable as you want. Good, nice landing. <laughs> I, but any, I mean, despite the conditions. That, that, yeah, but the conditions, you know, you know how to, you know how to. It's work crazy how it got pushed. Then back. It's just as long as you're keeping your aileron, your aileron into the wind, just prevent yourself from getting drifted off and landing on that. You want to land on that windward side wheel and yep. keep yourself centered. Then you're fine. Yep. Um, just I know you want to carry extra speed when you come in. Okay, because you, once you get into ground effect, that's negligible. So that's why I say power idle no matter what. Just you can tell you get so. It's okay if you float a little bit. You did it. You I handled it perfectly. Just got to wait for it to touch down again. It was the, this was the gustiest that and the windiest that I've flown in. Really? Yeah. My my gusty conditions that I've done were at uh, at Danbury on two six uh -huh. left. It was just uh, and uh, wind was uh, nine miles gust into fifteen. Actually, no, I landed here too once on 1-6, but it was more lined up with the runway, gust into 20, wind 11. But uh, at Danbury, it was uh, variable, like 70 degrees, like this. It really makes you work. Yeah. Uh, and it was uh, it was actually, they were, they were pretty good. Clear right, clear left. I thought that was good. Just gotta watch out for the shimmy. Just remember to just keep that aileron correction in the whole entire time and don't let it go, because that's why you kind of go like that. But at any time, if you're right next to a taxiway, don't try to make a taxiway. You can lock up the brakes, and then it could be even worse. And I get yelled at. <laughs> yeah. And then I do like that guy, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Raven? Yeah. Ready? Using the wind. What do you think? I think you're doing good. Getting close, that's for sure. Very close. We'll just have to tailor everything to PTS now. Or, sorry. Yeah, I mean, obviously, obviously, you know, with the... Today, in these conditions. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult, but... On these conditions, you have a little bit more leeway. Just remember that. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was thinking. That's why I asked if if they're a little bit more giving. Because I I correct. Yeah, as long as you're correcting, you're always in it. And if you need to, and they ask you why, and as long as you explain your reasoning. A perfect day, they probably look for like perfection, close to perfection. So I guess maybe I should hope for a windy day. <laughs> like a rel like not a big windy day, like both substantial, but you know something a little bit. Eh. Gusting to 20. I mean, it's gusting to 25 right now, so. 
too ba bad. Clear left. Oh, we were on the right side. I mean, on the left side. Well, we can take this one, right? Yeah. Ground, good to you. Five, five. Millionaire, ready to taxi. Good to you. Five, let's just ground. Right. Right. Three, four, taxi. Shut up. Kilo, Lima. Charlie, sir. Maybe Charlie. Good to you. Five, five.